This is how you can make a role info command for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And over on YouTube here, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we can get started by going over to community and we can go ahead and create role info.js and here we can do const. We're going to go ahead and define our slash command builder and our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Next we can do module.exports. We can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get data which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name here. This is going to be role info. And we can go ahead and set a description and we can say get some role info and we can go ahead and add a role option we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be our role and then we can go ahead and set a description here we can go ahead and say the role you want to get and we can go ahead and set required to true then we can add a comma we're going to do async execute so we can go ahead and get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to do cost and we can get options we can also get our guild and then we can set that equal to our interaction next we can do const role equals options dot get role and that is going to be our role role next we can do const members equals await guild dot members dot fetch we're going to be using this later from there we can actually go ahead and make a bunch of variables here so we can do const name equals role dot name uh, then we can do const color equals role dot color we can do const icon equals role dot icon url uh, then we can do const hoist equals role dot hoist we can do const pos equals role dot raw position and we can also do const mention equals role dot mentionable then after doing that we can go ahead and define another variable here so we're going to do let count equals and we're going to do an empty array then we can do await members dot for each we can do async member and we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to say if and we can go ahead and do member dot underscore roles dot includes and we can get id then we can just go ahead and add one to the count array so that basically we're going to be checking every single member within the server. So it's going to be member uh, and we can go ahead and check every single member to see if their roles includes the role that we're trying to actually get for our role info command. And then if that is true, so if it does include that, then we just add one to the count for our member count. The other thing that I forgot to do is we actually have to go ahead and add an ID. So we can do const ID equals role.id. And then that should work. So after doing that, we can go ahead and create our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. This is going to be a blurple. Then we can go ahead and start by adding a thumbnail. And this is going to be our icon variable. Then we can go ahead and add some fields. We're going to get name. And here we can get our name. And we can go ahead and do value. And we're going to go ahead and open up name. So to make this a little bit faster, we're actually going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to go ahead and paste it. Uh, this is going to be role ID and in here we can go ahead and get our ID. Next we can do color and this is going to be our color variable. Then we can go ahead and say mentionable and that is going to be our mention variable. Then we can go ahead and say hoisted and again that is going to be the corresponding variable aka the hoisted variable. Next we can go ahead and get role position and that is going to be our position variable or pos. Then we can go ahead and do role member counts and that is going to be the count array that we are using above and finally we can go ahead and set a footer we can get text and this is going to be role info and we can also go ahead and say a timestamp so after doing that we can go ahead and do await interaction our apply we can go ahead and get our embeds and we're going to get our embed here and we can also go ahead and set informal to true so that only you can see the message all right so with that we are actually done the last thing that we have to do is we're going to go ahead and change role to roles that should actually make it work uh, so now we can actually go ahead and save the file and restart the bot to test this out. All right, so we can go over to my coding server here because I'm going to be using the role icons from the server um, and I'm going to go to bot commands and we can actually go ahead and get our role info command. So we can do role info and I'm going to start off by selecting the community role. That way we can get our role icon and we can actually check to see if a lot of members are going to be stored into that count variable and we can actually confirm that number by checking the role settings afterwards. So we can just go ahead and click enter here. And as you can see, it's going to give us all of our role information. So it's going to give us the name, which is community. It's going to give us the role ID. Then we're going to have our role color, our mentionable, which is going to be false. 
hosts, meaning nobody in the server can mention it except for admins. It is hoisted, meaning it's on this bar here. Its raw position or roll position is 15, and its roll member count is 5725. So we can actually go ahead and check that by going over to roll settings. And if we go to community here, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and say 5725, which is that exact same number we had here. We can actually go ahead and try this one more time. This time we're going to go ahead and use a roll with a few less members. So we can do roll info. We're going to go ahead and get head admin this time. As you can see, it's gonna give us one member because we only have one head admin in the server and it's gonna give us different information um, opposed to this role here. The last thing we can go ahead and do is we can check a role without a icon URL just to make sure that works. We can do YouTube ping this time. As you can see, there's not gonna be any errors. It's just not gonna include that icon URL. And also the color is set to zero because it's a default color. So that's so you can code an advanced role info command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use the help channels. And we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And on that, I'll see you guys in the next video.